going on guys starting this vlog off real late it's like five o'clock uh in all fairness i did work until 3 30 i worked 7 30 to 3 30 so things were already going to be a little bit delayed uh we're just downtown again at the sushi place that you saw in a previous vlog uh, because jess actually forgot her wallet down there that day uh so we came back and got the wallet and of course ate sushi again because that's what you do um so, in explanation of the ending of yesterday's vlog, honestly, uh, towards the end of the day, I wasn't feeling too hot, and I just decided that instead of kind of, you know, bringing you guys down with my negative bullshit, I was just going to end the vlog there. I didn't even shoot an outro, honestly, and I do apologize for that, but um, I just decided to end it there, and uh, it, was, it was better ending on a good note than, you know, trying to get, trying to like tie you guys up in the bullshit or just weigh your guys' day down. I don't want to, you know, that I want this channel to be motivating, not necessarily a drag. Now, of course, I do want to share some of the, some of the negative parts of my life too, because one thing that I will say is watching, watching other people go through negative experiences can motivate you and, and it can really... It motivated me a lot, I'll put it that way. Um, watching other people go through negative experiences, in my experience, motiva motivated me a lot and just kind of taught me that it, you know anything's survivable and you can, you can really... You're a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for and you don't really realize that until you... Honestly, until you go through negative experiences yourself. But sometimes watching people go through negative experiences can make you stronger in when it comes time to go through your own and everyone does. Um, but all that BS aside, uh, vlogs are going to be back on track now. I'm about to go, I think we're going to run home, uh, and I'm not sure how it's going to work out. But anyway, I'm going to do a four hour arm day, classic gauge for a four hour arm day. And uh, it should be good. I'm going to get as much of it on film as possible. My camera battery is dead from yesterday. Um, so I'm going to try to get it on the phone here. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I'm sure I can put something good out there for you guys. Anyway, until next time, peace. I just showed up to the gym. Uh, unfortunately, I found out that it's not going to be a four-hour arm workout. It's going to be like three hours maybe three and a half hours if I get in there right about now. Um, if I'm talking kind of fast and acting kind of hyper, it's because I just had 400 megs of caffeine, first time trying caffeine pills. So we're both pretty freaking hyper, I the honestly. same amount and I weigh like half. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she, she weighs half what I do and took the same amount. So she's probably going to either have an aneurysm or just explode. I'm not really <laughs> sure. Uh, we're both doing arms, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, yeah, let's go kill it.
Claire, that was a good workout. Officially, a good workout. Arms are feeling, whew, arms are feeling brutal, honestly. I did a lot of sets, I don't know how many that was. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to calculate it. Whew. At this point, my body just needs calories. I'm starving and I'm shaky and I feel like I might puke and poop my pants. I'm not really sure. Something bad may happen on the drive home. I know I'm suffering. That's that's all that really matters. I feel much better mentally. Sometimes I just need to go in there and spend an exorbitant amount of time working out, clear, clarifying my head, and just, just get myself back in the zone, you know? For me, the the gym and, and bodybuilding has always been kind of like a sanctuary. I've, I've had lots of social problems and just problems throughout my entire life. And the gym has always been kind of my, my go-to place to get away from it all. Sometimes I forget that nowadays because I'm so... I'm in such a different place in my life. But sometimes when the past starts sneaking up on me, I just need to get in there. Kill a workout for a couple hours. And I come out a brand new man. So now let's get some calories into me and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Peace. Let's just keep this our little secret between you, me, and her. Ooh. All right, shake time, then some editing. It is currently almost four in the morning. Uh, I just finished editing uploading well it's still uploading right now but finished editing uh vlog day three um, there's a really big delay between the vlogs so if you guys notice me talking about vlog day three in vlog day eight or nine or whatever this one is now uh, it's just because there's a big gap honestly uh, some days I, I don't have time to edit or i just straight up don't edit um time or not um, so that's why there's a big gap so it can be a little bit confusing sometimes confusing for me honestly more than anything so I'll be talking about a vlog that you guys have already seen like two weeks ago <laughs> so yeah it's a little confusing but uh, last meal of the day before I hit the sack is gonna be six whole eggs bowl of special K and Probably some toast, I think. Yeah, I'll have three or four pieces of whole wheat toast. Uh, just kind of pack in the calories before I hit the sack. Today's meals were a little bit off. I got like five in. Um, if you include the sushi, and the sushi was a small meal, I'm going to try to make up for it with this. Now, that's not including the shake, which is pretty high calorie for sure. But, um, yeah, that's, that's about it for today, honestly, guys. It is super early or super late I'm not really sure which to call it and I am completely pooped <laughs> I'm super tired and uh, I think I'm gonna hit the sack here in the next 20 minutes once I wolf down this food if you like today's uh, video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more stuff I know um, I know these videos aren't the best, but I I really hope they're getting better. I feel like they are. Like every time I edit a video, I'm like, oh yeah, that was better than the last one. Um, honestly, it's just it's just about having the right material. And sometimes some days I do have good material, and some days I just don't. Uh, but I am vlogging every day. I vlogged every day. I think this is eight or ninth day. I'm not sure. Something like that. But yeah, I vlog pretty consecutively. Uh, for about eight or nine days and I'm really enjoying it honestly uh, the editing is the difficult part but the actual vlogging I like it I like being able to communicate with our followers on like a daily basis and, and just on such a personal level it's cool I hope you guys are enjoying it too anyway guys I'm tired as hell I'm going to bed peace